for you tonight. Three days after the license was pulled at the El Pueblo Boys and Girls Ranch over allegations of abuse, former employees got together today for a balloon release. In our balance coverage and for the first time, we're hearing their side of the story. They want to show how heartbroken and sad they are about losing the children in their care. News 5's Lena Howland is following up tonight. I wouldn't be so upset about it if, you know, I didn't care about them. At least two dozen workers now out of a job, each releasing a balloon to show the love and support of their former residents. I know I've been crying for the last few days since it all happened, and it's not even the job. A job is disposable. You can find a job anywhere, but I miss my kids. I show these kids love, you know. I have young men that I was like a father figure to them. One former employee says the allegations of abuse are exaggerated, but when it comes to the lack of supervision accusations, one former employee did admit staffing has been low. There's definitely a shortage in staff. This is not an easy job. People come into this job again thinking they're going to be summer camp counselors, and it's, it's not. We showed you this incident on Tuesday, caught on camera between an El Pueblo employee and a resident, where an internal report says the worker was simply lowering the client to the ground for both of their safety. If something like that happened here at El Pueblo and it was on camera, you were fired on the spot. Like El Pueblo didn't, that's not how it ran. El Pueblo would not have you here taking care of these kids who've been through abuse, who've been through all this kind of stuff. While that incident was recorded on camera, the state's report shows some workers would hit children in areas with no cameras. Yeah, I don't think that's true. We had cameras all the time on us. There's cameras everywhere. I did the best that I could to empower these kids. And, you know, there's a, quite a bit of staff that done, you know, 100 more times to to help them out. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Lena Howland, News 5. And the Department of Human Services says the kids were moved to different facilities or returned to their parents pending a formal hearing. Depending on what happens, its license could be permanently revoked. That investigation is still going on and we will be tracking it every step of the way.